So let's try some uh, horizontal cuts here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to angle down a little bit and I'm just going to make a few horizontal cuts. And then I'm going to angle up and make a few horizontal cuts. And you'll see that that sort of takes out a bit of the rock right there. It's almost better to have your knife a little dull so it actually pulls some out. So I think that actually looks pretty good as far as uh, chunks of rock coming out here. I'm going to continue this all, all around. I'm going to angle the knife down a little. I'm going to angle the knife up a little bit. And we'll have some chunks of rock coming out like that. Now we're slowly getting this thing into shape. After I cut that rock texture, it looks to me like we need just a little bit of a sloping edge going down. Just a little bit here to give it a, a bit more of a natural look. The, the edge sloped, I think, will work. Now I'm going to continue the rock texture on the bottom. And you can just sort of watch what I'm doing and see if you can figure out what works the best here. Okay. See, I'm in the camera. Let's go here. Okay, let's start with this. Um, I'm just going to cut this back a little bit and I want to define our valleys just a little bit better. Okay, we'll just use this knife and we'll cut the valleys back just a little bit. That cleans it up a little bit better. Some of the excess here, you know, we can take off just a little bit. And let's see, what does this need? We need just a little bit here. That cleans it up just a little bit. And I think this needs to lose just a little bit off the top here. This is going to slope down just a little bit here. Okay. That's doing pretty good for a rock base. I think it gives you the general idea that it's rock. Let's finish this up. 